it's great to have the list you can go and comment and engage on these people but that won't help you hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about what's the best way to find the most active users in groups so this will be specific to Facebook but you can probably apply lots of this to other platforms but we're going to talk about the process that I've gone through and how you can do that too so you can find the most active users and groups but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so obviously we have to define what we mean by active and we're going to get into that we're going to talk about you know what I consider active and before we do that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis426.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be showing you the process that I <clears throat> gone through before now keep in mind that I do have a tool to automate all this work but the reason I'm wanting to show you this is I want to show you how you can do it yourself without spending any money on a tool and we're going to show you the process that I went through along for a while before I decided to create the tool and what you can do yourself without having to spend money on a tool all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here go over here <clears throat> all right so how do you find the most active users and groups so first let's define what is an active user right what do I mean by active user right so here's one thing you got to remember if you're talking about your own group versus a group you're part of uh trying to find your uh, target market or those kinds of things there's different ways maybe that you're going to uh, want to work with this but there's a couple of definitions of active users right so number one someone who is regularly engaging on the on the post right on the group posts right someone uh, number two it could be someone who who is uh regularly again right regularly posting uh new posts in the group right uh the other uh definition of an active person could be someone who is regularly posting on their own timeline right okay so depending on what you're trying to accomplish you can use any of these definitions to define what you consider an active user so how do you find these users and what does active mean in terms of time right do we what do we mean what do we mean right what do we mean by active uh time right so could be uh could be a post a day could be um a post a week right could be could be a comment a day or a week right whoops or a day or a day or a week right so I mean really it depends on what your uh, definition is but for me what I've been doing is I've been uh, con uh considering an active user somebody who's regularly posting in groups who's regularly posting on their timeline and who's posting a couple times a week at least right and that's kind of how I define an active user now you can choose different definitions obviously but let's go with that because that's kind of what I my definition right definition of an active user is someone who someone who oops one posts three uh let's say let's say one two five well posts at least uh one post 
a week on their timeline okay number two uh comments at least once once a week in group so kind of like that right so okay so now how do you find those users right so what's the process that we got to go through to find those users so first let's go to Facebook here right so we're in Facebook and you're looking through your timeline right you're seeing people's you're seeing people post in your timeline you're seeing posts here so what is it what is it that you think you see in your timeline right when you're looking at your timeline what do you think you see what are the posts you're seeing in your timeline right you're seeing posts from people that are connected with you right so the people that are connected with you aren't necessarily active or the ones that you want to be engaging with because maybe these people have been have been posting um and you've engaged with them already and they, they, they're not interested in your in your product your offer so really if you're engaging on these people's posts right you're basically going to be uh you know you're not you're not going to get any results right because these people are people who have already engaged with you and this is what Facebook is showing you in the timeline right so the timeline is showing you the people that you've already engaged with the people that are not interested in your stuff but they kind of like you right they're following you so you know you might have some uh, results trying to reach out to these people but not it's not going to give you the best results because you know one of the things you need in a business is constant new blood so you're going to be finding new people that are in your uh groups right so new people that are active new people that you have not engaged with before and you got to find them so how do we find them right so first we go to groups and we search for groups that we are that we consider our target market be in right so for you this group could it doesn't it could be any groups depending on what you're trying to sell you got to find the people that are active right so let's just put that in the notes here so where so steps to finding finding the active users in groups right so number one you want to go to the groups where your target market is in right so that's the first step and that that doesn't change depend no matter who you talk to they're all going to tell you go to the groups where your target market is in right so go to that group go to those groups because that's where they hang out right so if you're 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 looking for people who are interested in weight loss you go to weight loss groups you're interested in people who want to uh make money you go to make money groups well they're spam and anyways if you're interested in finding uh, coaches and affiliate marketers go to those groups right so whatever you're looking for go to the groups where they are right so that's the first thing and if it's your group if you're trying to figure out who's active in your group well obviously you go to your group right you go to your group and that's what you're probably doing already if you have your own group you're already engaging in your group you're posting in your group and you're commenting on whenever somebody posts something and you're trying to figure out who's active and you know get them to be more active right so how do you how do you do that and well the first step is finding who's active second step is engaging with them well that takes a while but uh engaging on some of their posts and doing those things so but the first step is always finding them right so let's say we go in here and I can actually well actually let's go to Facebook the main Facebook page and just do a search right here so say you're looking for you know uh, uh, uh realtors right so uh let's say realtor tips okay let's say we're looking for realtors so let's look for realtor tips look at that realtor network and social media tips there's a group here with 18,000 members so if you're a realtor and you're looking to and um, you know find people that are interested in online marketing and they're a realtor this would be a fantastic group to go in now I'm not a realtor so I'm not in this group but you would go and you would join the group and then after that you have access to the group and you start engaging on in the group right but me I'm uh I'm in affiliate marketing so let's just do affiliate affiliate marketing tips right okay so here's the other now when you do this uh, affiliate marketing tips look at that 106,000 members 36 mem thousand members 4.1 members and if I click on on just groups right here it shows me just the groups 
and if I can I scroll down I might be able to see a group I'm already part of so let's just use one of those because if I'm not part of the group I won't be able to uh show you the next steps but that's basically it right you got to find the groups first that your target market is in and then after that you just uh do the next steps I'm going to show you so I'm going to say my groups and it'll show me the groups I'm in and these are the groups I'm in right so let's just say I go to one of these groups that has <coughs> um 1.2k members let's look at that I feel <laughs> oh <laughs> sorry about that affiliate marketing for newbies so for me that's a group that I'm in so I want to find who's active in that group so I go to the group right and then I look at the post now here's the first thing you'll think is okay look at that Lyra Esperat here is active she or he I'm not sure I guess uh whoops I guess it's a it's a it's a girl <laughs> sometimes the names right are hard to especially if it's done my language so this lady here she's posted something in the group so she's active right mm, not necessarily she might be active but here's what you got to do you got to go to her profile here and then you gotta um like okay here let's the the other thing you got to go to google sheets google sheets go to google sheets and or or other tool if you want to use right let's uh I'm all, I'm already like why is it asking me logging that's weird okay I'm gonna create a new sheet and I'm gonna call this active oops, active group users list all right so I'm going to create a sheet here and I'm going to put put in here first of all let's put um I don't need this anymore let's put this person's name right so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to put their name that's their name I guess we don't need it to be you know bolded but there's their name right we have their profile we have their the uh, and then we have a group uh posts we have group comments and we have profile posts okay and all right so <clears throat> and maybe we put engagements here too right because we want to keep track of how often we engage on their post so when we first start like this we're going to go like this we're going to go to their uh to their post here and we're going to um let me see um okay so first I'm looking at this I see one post right so let's just say there is one post I have one group post right and there's no comments right I'll put zero here then what I do is I go to her main profile I say view main profile right here right and then I just take her profile I don't need the whole thing here I just take this part oh actually you can't see that let me scroll this down here so you don't need to take the whole URL here because this is all just from but you just take at least this where it says Lyra or you could probably just take this if you wanted but if you want it might be easier if you kept the link here okay so we're going to go in here and put the profile link here and then we're gonna go look well we're looking at her profile right now okay so July 9th <coughs> updated cover photo uh July 9th May 16th okay so this person is not very active on Facebook or if they are they're not posting public posts now this is the other thing that's important because you can't be you can't and you know there's not even a, a way to engage on her, her post she doesn't have it enabled so I can't comment or like her posts so this person here would not be what I would consider somebody that I can engage with or that I can engage on so let me just put here uh actually I'm going to add another insert I'm going to say uh status right so not public I'm going to say it's not public all right let's put, call this notes all right <clears throat> so group posts and then the other thing is you might want to keep track of dates right when you added them let's put insert here and date added right that's today right so let's say it's today 2022 20. okay I added them on the 20th of September now let's go to the next one so now I'm going to go to the next one over here can click on back go back to the group here's the other uh thing so Lyra Espat she commented one comment 
then there's Noreen Kenwall here who commented on a post so I'm just going to go to this person so this is Noreen Kenwall and I'm going to put her name here oops like that and they would added the same date right and you might want to put yeah you might want to put the uh you didn't see insert no no a column you might want to put the a group found in right so over here you can put the group that you found them in so this is going to be uh the group is where's the group affiliate marketing for newbies whoops copy is the group okay you might want to put the name of the group right it's really up to you how you um, manage that but you know really all we need is the link uh and then okay so now we want to look at her profile so she has no posts here but she commented on one post right so we know that she had no posts but she commented on one post right and over here I'm going to say zero zero because I didn't do anything okay let's go to this one if I go here click on here view main profile now I can look at her pro profile and I can see the August 25th and uh, oh I even commented on this see that's me that and she she said thanks but she didn't do anything um there's a video here which is 23 hours ago uh September 18th which is a couple days ago and September 17th which is another few days ago okay so this person here is active in the sense that she's posting regularly on her profile right so I can say right here that I have three profile posts in the last week and I did three engagements right so I actually engaged on her post three times right all right so then what I do is I go back to the group again I go to the next one and whoops I went to the I went too far let's go back here okay so I go back to here I keep going now I see another name okay so you get the idea right so I got to go through each of these and I got to go and look at their whether they're they're posting or engaging or that kind of stuff right so I can actually go look in here you see this Norena Kenwall here is uh, engaging on lots of the posts in here so maybe she's the owner of the group <coughs> I wouldn't I don't really know I'd have to go look at the uh, members right here if you look on the members you can kind of see all the members in the group right Noreen Kenwall um admins I guess she's not an admin but she's active and you can actually see the people here that are in the group right but that doesn't necessarily tell you that whether they're active or not right when you look at this list it's great to have the list you can go and comment you can engage on these people but that won't help you to find who is active because pfft, it'll take you forever to go through every single one of these to figure out who's active right so you really have to go and look at the group itself in the discussion part and go look at the posts that are there go look at who's engaging who's commenting right so this is a new post right here and this would be another person this is the second post of that person so she's got two posts in here already this can tell uh so you can tell that they're active right so as you can imagine this can take a long time to do and but this is the process this is how you would know whether they're active or not and when we look at this this list right so you go to the groups your target market is in number two find the people find find who posts and comments right number three check their profiles to see if they post there too and number four engage on their profile posts so the reason why you want to do engaging on their profile post right is because if you're engaging on the group post that's great you can certainly do that but that's um it's not the most um how can I put it the the when Facebook sees your activities it it affects what you see in your newsfeed right so if you're engaging just in the group you're going to start to see just group things right but this person you want them to know that you're seeing their stuff in their profile you want them to feel like oh this person is great they like my stuff and if you want to start to see their stuff in their in their new in your news feed and you want them to start seeing your stuff in your new in their news feed that's kind of what you got to be doing you got to be engaging on their profile post and as you can see 
doing this through the group takes a while right you've got to click on their name then you got to click on their uh, view main profile then you see whether they're what posts they're posting here right and then you can engage on those posts and then you got to go back to the group again right and <clears throat> go to the next person go to the next person that takes a while and that's why that's why I built a tool which is what I want to talk, but I wanted you to know what the manual process was so you can see how to do it and why is this a value because I, over time you're going to be able to keep track of how many posts they're posting so say tomorrow you look at this again you see Lira again you see she posted something new you can increase this to two and see the number so as you go you can start to uh, get a list you know you can sort by the number of posts you can sort by uh the number of profile posts you can sort by how many engagements you've done so you can start to tell when it's a good time to reach out to them because if you've engaged on lots of their posts you'll know they'll know that you they they will have seen you in their in, in their notifications right they will have seen you they will know that you're you're active they will know that you're commenting on their stuff they will actually appreciate you engaging on their stuff at least most people will especially if they're posting on social media because they're trying to build something as well <clears throat> or maybe they're trying to lose weight or maybe they're trying to do you know anything that they're trying to accomplish by posting if you're engaging on their stuff they're going to like that you're doing that if they're not posting then it's really hard to find but at, but at the same time you still can find active users say it's your group at least you can keep track of how many group posts they have how many group comments they have <clears throat> and you can actually um you know know who it is that's most active you'll see how many posts they're posting right which is kind of what Facebook lets you do when you click on their name right if I click on the name here it'll give you some of the stuff it's kind of weird I don't understand why it's saying no posts here because that is supposed to show this person's posts which she has some or maybe she doesn't maybe she's just commenting but even then it should say what she's commenting on see look she's commenting here so I guess that's not perfect the Facebook algorithm isn't working that great if I click on this name here there's a she posted a few things there's one post here another post here and that's it that's showing only two posts but I well maybe it is maybe she did just post two things <clears throat> but in any case um as I scroll down here uh, I can see other people right I can see all these other people if I click on this one here this is somebody doing crypto stuff uh so he posted two things right and but that's kind of how you find these active people right all right so what is the tool that I'm talking about the tool I'm talking about is called active group users and it gives you the list it gives it builds a list for you over time so every day it'll go look in the groups that you choose and they'll give you a list of that so let's just kind of show you what it looks like if I just go to the to the to the active groups oh actually I'm, I'm logged in so oh but still you're going to see uh, you can come to this page you're going to see this right you're going to go to let's just put a link right here for you if you go to activegroupusers.com you can actually see this and you can actually get a free trial to try it out but basically what it does is it gives you um it gives you the list of users that are active by keeping track of how many comments they're posting see right over here we got Facebook comments 57 52 51 50, 32 32 so this is the well and this is in the last 30 days if you mouse over it you see it says number of comments in the last 30 days by this user right so this user here Noreen look at that Noreen Canwal is the one we were just looking at a second ago and she has 57 comments in the groups now this is a multiple groups I have here right I have a bunch of groups but the group that we were looking at is actually in the list that's why her name is there um but the thing is that this gives me the list of views now this is not you can't you're not going to be able to run this tool and the next day you have all this data because Facebook doesn't allow us to do this crazy amount of data gathering in one scoop we have to do it over time so after a while you're going to get more and more data like this but you're going to be able to see who's the most active so I would be able to go to one of these people's profiles I just click on their name here and it'll just take me to their profile and I actually let's just close that. I want to see see it says I visited her prof her post yesterday so I'm not going to go to it in right now but this one says 47 these ones have four days ago 
let's see 34 four days yesterday 41 days ago four days ago four days ago 15 days ago 180 days ago now what you can also notice is I've got notes here that says I can't comment there's no posts so I know that these people even though they're <laughs> they're posting like say this one here uh this one here can't comment but I sent the PM right so and as I already know here she's posted 51 51 comments in the group but she she doesn't post on her profile so that might be okay because this might be a moderator might be somebody that's in the group that's actually supposed to be active that's building the group click funnels official right so probably is one of the moderators of the, of the group so that's not unexpected sometimes you'll have people that you just can't engage with right they're not there for that they're they're being paid to to do activity in the group right the other thing you can do you the other thing you can do too with this tool is you're going to look at the Facebook pro the post so the FP right here is number of posts in the last 30 days by this users so this also lets you see who is posting the most right so 22 15 13 12 11 these are people that are posting in groups right Shagar is one of my friends he's definitely active he posts all the time <coughs> and uh and you can see he's got whoops go what, 15 he's posted 15 posts now the number that are here is not it's not the number of all the posts that the person has it's only the number that the tool has been able to find over the last little while right <clears throat> now I've been using this tool for for months I mean I built it and it does this it gives me the information like this and if I click on his name here I can actually go and see what the post he's got 20 posts three comments which is just what the tool has gathered right if I click on the three comments here it'll pop up the post right this is the post url right here whoops it opens it up if I click it this is the comment when the comment was and this is the comment he did this is the post this is the comment this is the post this is the comment right so this kind of shows me what they posted and here's the posts the posts won't have comments now these are I mean I got to figure out a better way but still it's showing you all the posts you can kind of get an idea for what this person posts right in here and but uh so that's kind of what that is and if I just uh, close this so the way and I'm not going to get into the way to use the tool really right because there's a whole bunch of other things and actually if you go to the tool itself or the page I was showing you here right if you go to this page here there's a video here that kind of shows you how to use a tool how to install it all that and that kind of tells you the steps to doing it right register and set it up your account and all that so it's pretty straightforward to use but the important thing is that you got to use a tool every day you got to let it do its thing every day and then over time you're going to come up with this data that's going to be um you know the the most important thing that you can get from Facebook is who is active who's active because you know if you're not finding who is active you're going to be wasting your time on people who won't ever see your comments they won't ever notice because they're not active they haven't been to Facebook like in you know two months three months so just find who's active so you can spend the time on the right people and this is one of the best ways to do it that uh you know obviously I like I said I build the tool so obviously I think it's awesome but I uh, know that others that are using the tool think it's uh, amazing too and I hope you will too and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.